Making money playing video games is no longer just for the pros. In 2022, there's going to be a revolution of people being able to make a living by playing some of the biggest video games on the market. I show you all about some of the best play to earn blockchain based video games on this channel. And today I'm going to show you my top five games that are going to completely crush it in 2022 and make millionaires. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So as I was saying, there is going to be a revolution and it is coming. This whole industry is going to be turned on its head and everything that we know about how video games are made and how they are monetized and how not only developers earn, but how the players actually earn as well is going to change forever. I know that we've seen some backlash here with some of these uh, first initial offerings from companies like Ubisoft, but it is 100% the best way forward for not only the gamer, but also for the developers. So I'm gonna jump into my top five crypto NFT based games that allow you to play and earn, uh, you know, up to 10, 20, 30, $100 a day, uh, maybe even combining all these games together and earning a ton every single day and investing in them now is what's going to be able to make you a millionaire. But before we get to all that, if you love crypto gaming NFTs and earning money in crypto, uh, then make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel here and smash that like button if you like what you see. And then jump in our Discord and join our community of stashers where we talk about NFTs, gaming, and the metaverse on the daily. Okay, so let's jump right into this. And these are some of my favorite games. Some of these are, you know, big money makers and some of them are well-established or they're gonna be getting there in 2022. But now is the time to take advantage of the opportunity. So number five on my list here is Axie Infinity. Now this is one that you've seen talked about quite a bit. Uh, it is an Ethereum slash Ronin based game. They have their own kind of blockchain side chain here. And they had a huge year in 2021. They essentially led the way for play to earn games. But uh, now with a little bit of downturn here in the markets, we're starting to see their native token SLP take a considerable dip. But what I'm actually bullish on for Axie Infinity is not what's happening right now. It's about what is going to happen this year. And we're going to be seeing the release of Lunasia, which is their land gameplay, and also V2 of Battles. So what you see right now in Axie Infinity, just kind of consider this a precursor to what they're really going to be doing in the space. And I think that there is a huge opportunity to A, start you know increasing the amount of SLP you have uh, through playing the game right now, and also by buying Axies right now when they're stupid cheap. Right, some of these axes were going for hundreds of dollars. Now they're going for you know thirty or forty dollars at this point. So uh, it's still a game where you can make uh, some money daily, especially if you're good at the game. Uh, but you know, just getting the the basic you know SLP you get from quests uh, can you actually earn you a little bit of daily, no matter what. Now, the good thing about this is that SLP is going to rebound. They've been working on the economy here, and I think that you know with the release of their new land play game and their new battles. Uh, this will actually help with what's going on with the economy and all those people who've been sitting on, on a big fat bag of SLP and had diamond hands are going to be rewarded. Now on the flip side of this, one of the other methods to making some money here with Axie Infinity is, is also by running a scholarship team. So that means having the assets and then loaning them out to people who want to play the game on the daily and you're taking a bit of those profits, right? And so you could earn well more than $100 daily just by running a, a, a you know sizable scholarship team uh, for Axie Infinity. So my number four game on the list here is a game that I played quite a bit on the channel and it is one of the best looking play to earn MOBAs out there that we've seen. Now I know we've seen some other ones that have come out here but they have not really gotten the economics right, the tokenomics of the game down just right. And I think this game Spider Tank is going to go all the way. This is a game that's being produced by Gala Games, which is one of my favorite gaming studios that is focused on play to earn and cryptos and, and NFT uh, in corporation to their games. And so uh, the great thing about this is that you can earn in a bunch of different ways, right? And then you can essentially run a scholarship team on that kind of, uh, and it's built into the platform, right? So the pilot is uh, essentially getting a little bit because they're running it and then you're getting a little bit as being the, the owner of the actual uh, NFTs. 
But there's more ways than that. You can actually earn as a fabricator. So for all the resources and stuff that you're going to need to upgrade your tanks, you can actually run a, a fabrication shop and fabricate those things and then sell those in the marketplace. Now that's coming soon. And uh, so is being able to own the actual planets that all of the arenas are on. But right now you can actually be an arena owner, which is another way to earn in this game. Owning the actual uh, game maps uh, is going to then net you some uh, additional uh, revenue as well. So you'll be able to get their in-game token, which they haven't released too much details on, but uh, being an arena owner is going to be a great passive income move, as will be a, a, you know, a planet owner as well when that launches too. So uh, the great thing about this is that everything essentially in the game is NFT, so you can buy and sell it on the marketplace. So there's a lot of uh, opportunity there as well. And there's already a bunch of professional mobile players that are playing this game and love it. And it is a lot of fun. I actually really enjoy Spider Tanks and I find myself getting lost in it and trying to jump right back in uh, to play uh, even more and earn even more. So make sure you guys go check out Spider Tanks. Uh, we, uh, it, it's actually a game that we might actually be playing here on the channel uh, every uh, once a week. So we're, we're looking at, uh, you know, hopefully doing that and bringing some more Spider Tanks to you guys. All right, number three on my list here is a game that has been around for quite some time. It's a well-established game, but it's been flying underneath the radar for whatever reason. But it's a game I've been playing since the beginning. It's called War Riders. It doesn't get a lot of attention, but this is kind of like a Mad Max style uh, you know, car game where you're roaming around with a car that's equipped with a bunch of different guns and you're trying to, uh, you know, mine the in-game cryptocurrency at different mining points uh, throughout the wasteland. So you're in kind of like this post-apocalyptic wasteland and there are these actual mining points where you're mining their in-game currency called BZN. And, uh, you know, you can then turn it back into your uh, into your, your your starting point or one of the bases. And then essentially you, you, that's how you, 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 uh, you know, bring it out of the game. And so BZN has actually done a pretty big price appreciation for, for over the last couple of months, even though it's taken a little bit of a dip recently. But uh, this this game in general is a lot of fun. You can jump out there and even if I'm not earning, I'm having a great time trying to blow up other people's cars, mine cryptocurrency, take over their spots. It is definitely a game that you want to play with some friends right now because uh, there are clans, people that will camp on all these spots, but they have a bunch of great updates that are coming to this game, including one that just rolled out where they won't allow people to spawn camp on the spawn points. And also they're going to be uh, roving nodes. So the nodes aren't going to be in the static locations. They'll be just randomly generated every once in a while throughout the wasteland. So people won't be able to camp these things. But the amount of money that you can actually earn from this cryptocurrency is pretty good, especially on the weekend events when they do what they call a high distribution event. So that's when you want to go in there and really, uh, you know, compete for uh, all the best uh, mining spots and grab that BZN, uh, which is, I think, something that uh, we've talked about on the channel a lot. But Star Atlas is coming to Solana. Now, this is a very, very ambitious game, and there are a lot of moving parts here, and they are really just still getting started with the early development. So I don't think we're going to see a full playable game at all this year, but this is the time to be getting in on all the asset sales to be ready for next year when the game does get ready to, to uh, you know, have a, a, at least an alpha release to be able to start playing. There are three different clans, and right now I've chosen uh, the Oni clan. So if you guys are looking to get on board with Star Alice and you want to be in the Stash clan, make sure you choose Oni. But the cool thing about right now is you can buy spaceships for this game, and you can actually there's actually a staking game that allows you to earn their native currency atlas tokens as you're staking your your fleet essentially you're, you're essentially what, what, the, what the story is you're loaning your fleet out to uh star atlas like this to be able to go out there and uh, keep peace in the systems and you know you're earning some atlas tokens by doing so now there are some resources you have to keep up but it is a game that you can play right now it is passive but it is a precursor to what's going on so it allows you to earn some atlas tokens uh, with your fleet. So you invest now in, in ships, you can stake them right now and start earning passive income essentially uh, through this little mini game. And this is a great time to be getting ready for, you know, playing Star Atlas here in the future. So definitely something you want to look into. And, you know, th this is one of the AAA looking games in blockchain right now. The cinematic trailers are beautiful. Uh, there's nothing out there that we've seen so far that looks as good as Star Atlas does with native cryptocurrency uh, tokenomics built into it. 
So definitely something that I would recommend that you guys go uh, look at because this is a game that could fully employ people here and being land barons or or being you know uh, uh, you know uh, pirates uh, or you know uh, resource gatherers and sellers. This is one of those games where I definitely can see people doing this in the long run. So my number one game that is still flying a little bit underneath the radar, and I think people don't give it as much appreciation as they should, but it's Blanco's Block Party. This is a multiplayer play to earn game that is uh, you know, technically built on a side chain or a version of EOS software. And uh, Blanco's is one of those ones where because you don't earn an in-game token, uh, the earning mechanics, they're not as you say fleshed out like some of these other games are, right? Where you're earning a token daily or hourly. But with Blanco's, what you're doing is you're earning per season, right? So they have these seasons where you're going in, you're earning rewards, but it unlocks your ability to earn top tier NFTs that you can sell later in the marketplace. And these are NFTs that are rare because most people don't end up getting the entire thing unlocked. So that's what we see here is that, you know, each season, there's a very small amount of people who actually can put in the amount of time it takes to unlock all of these things. And if you can do that and get one of the low mints, being one of the first people to mint those Blancos that are in the uh, the party pass or, or in their, uh, you know, their paid party pass plus, then that's something that can actually yield quite a bit of rewards. Now, you know, some of these Blancos are going for 500, 600, 1,000, 5,000 dollars, depending on how rare they are. And they are, uh, you know, NFTs that have come from some of the early seasons in the, uh, of Blancos when they were just getting started. So Blancos works a little bit different than some of these other games and how you play to earn there. But if you, uh, you know, play this fun multiplayer game, which, you know, it has, a, it, it's one of the most fun games to play with other people, I would say. Uh, tons of mini games, people are making their own maps, and the game, you know, really does a good job, I think, of obfuscating the crypto element of it, but still allowing people to, you know, buy and sell in their marketplace and earn from the NFTs that they are, you know, essentially getting for free uh, as they play the game and level up. So uh, getting those rare Blancos is, you know, all part of the fun. And like I said, the, the earning mechanic works a little bit different here, but still works. And I think that's something that people uh, don't understand. And they have a massive team behind them with some huge brands that they've brought on board to be able to have some Blancos that uh, are branded. So uh, we've already seen some really cool, you know, Blancos coming from uh, companies like Burberry and also, uh, you know, from a company, uh, from, uh, you know, personalities and celebrities like Dead Mouse. And we're going to continue to see more and more of those partnerships. Right now, they partner with, with Amazon Gaming and they're doing uh, Amazon Gaming Drops. So Blancos is going big and it is a game not to be missed out on and to be underlooked because I think a lot of people do because it doesn't have an active earning token mechanic built in. So getting in those Blancos right now or buying some Blancos that are, are some of the rare ones uh, right now for cheaper and when they go up, that's when we well, want to cash in later this year because I think more and more people are going to start playing this game and uh, that's when you're really going to be able to see a high dollar amount for what you're earning every single season. So those are my top five games for 2022 that I think are going to be big that you could really earn a quite a bit of money in. All these games are already pretty fun to play. Uh, I would say Star Atlas, you know, kind of aside because there's just the mini game right now. But, you know, I think that the opportunity is to be able to get assets right now to capitalize here uh, later towards the end of the year or for next year uh, when they start having some of the, the you know bigger mini games out or they have an alpha that is coming out as well. Let me know what your favorite is. If you're already in some of these games, if you're in War Riders, I wanna know because we're gonna be creating a clan there. We're also creating a clan in Star Atlas, so if you wanna be a part of that guild, let me know in the comments below and we'll get, ri we'll get rolling together and earning together in the metaverse as well. That's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.